Hi everyone, it's me, Moonlight Guidance. We're going to do a reading to see what's coming through for you, and this is for all star signs. So if you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign that there are messages for you. And this is also a very, very safe space where you are always, always very, very welcome. So welcome. Okay, so let's have a look. And I just wanted to mention if you ever wanted to purchase a personal tarot reading with me or any sorry, my nose is so itchy, um, personal tarot readings, any rituals um, which I offer, or any of the intention items which have thousands of five-star reviews, you know, there's bracelets, candles, sage bundles, teas, and uh, anklets, and so much more on my website, which is all handmade, meditated with, and sage. It's always on shopmoonlightguidance.com, which is linked down below, and literally, you know, thousands of five-star reviews, which you can check out at the bottom of my website, but everything's literally in the description box below. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's coming through. All you want is stability. All you want is stability, happiness, peace, and you sometimes feel like, is it too much to ask for? Okay, literally see it here. I mean, all you want is just to be feeling stable. Okay, king of pentacles, to feel stable, happy, and at peace. Okay, and this is all to do with the relationship, I feel, because, you know, King of Pentacles is a very relationship-esque card. It's ruled very dominantly by Taurus. Taurus is really about, like, commitment, relationships. And also, we've got here the Ten of Pentacles, which, again, is purely a relationship card. And the Five of Wands is what is interfering in the middle, is the Five of Wands is really about conflict, chaos, not knowing, doing this, doing that, like, just not knowing, right? Um, and it's all you want, like, all you want is to just be in a relationship with a person, and you're just wondering, like, why is it not happening, why is it not going in this particular direction, what's happening, why, 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 and it just frustrates you, and you're just like, come on, hello, come on, well, let's see, okay, let's see, why is this all happening, whoa, in this way, we have a lot of cards, okay, so, First and foremost, I feel like this person does have feelings for you, okay? We literally have that here with the lovers. This person feels romantically very connected to you. They like you a lot. And they also feel very physically attracted to you as well. They also feel like you're very smart. So that's good. They don't just like you for your body. We see that here. Also, okay, this person, I feel, has a lot going on. Like a lot, First and foremost, I feel like in their childhood, they have been quite heavily traumatized. Okay, so five of um, cups really shows that. And so that affects how they move about things in their day-to-day -day life right now. Okay, eight of wands, no matter what they try to do, they then get blocked by this eight of cups of not knowing how to properly um, come forward towards you, how to talk to you, how to do this, how to do that. They get overwhelmed with fear, fear from their past. Okay, so I feel like in the past there was someone that they were giving a lot to, okay? They were giving a lot of time, energy, love, you know, even finances as well. They were sharing a lot, doing a lot, and that person really, really hurt them, okay? So this person hurt your person that you want to be in a relationship with, and what's actually ended up happening is that they are so fearful, that history could repeat itself. So what I mean by that is that they are scared that because of what's happened to them in the past could happen again and they just don't feel like they have the energy of dealing with what happened to them in the past. They feel like they have no energy, okay, to get hurt again. So they are scared that you may hurt them again, which, you know, you're probably thinking like, oh, I'd never do that. I, I know, I know you would <laughs> want to do that, but that's what they feel, right? They feel like that could happen again. So that's why... They are keeping to themselves. They are not coming forward. They sort of do this U-turn energy where they think to themselves like, oh my God, I really like you. I really care about you. I find you super attractive. And then they start to panic and get overwhelmed. Like, oh my God, this takes a lot of vulnerability. What if I get hurt again? How am I going to deal with that hurt? What am I going to do? How am I going to heal? I have so much other stuff going on in my life. Like, I don't know if I can also deal with this and this. They just start to panic. They absolutely start to panic. Whereas deep down they know that you are like the right kind of person for them, someone that's so like well-rounded, so wholehearted, someone that's like really, really emotionally giving, understanding, respectful, like just so emotionally there and just so emotionally 
sweet you know and especially with the king of cups and also the queen of cups as well like there's just such a like loving understanding respectful energy that you bring to the table which is one that is just so like nurturing they feel like you are a genuinely very very nurturing person but you're dealing with someone who has been so heavily traumatized even as a child okay so yes they've been traumatized in a relationship that has happened but this childhood trauma of what has happened to them in a relationship only got further enhanced and magnified because of childhood trauma that has happened to them no, this trauma that they faced in the relationship has got magnified from the childhood trauma that they also faced. So the childhood trauma came first. So what's happened here is that as a child, they felt very unseen and very unheard, okay? They were not they were not really looked at, okay? And I feel like this comes from the male side of the family. See here, you've got here the page of swords. You've got the knight of swords and you've got the king of swords this is since they were a child that they were not seen by a male side of the family so it could be like a father grandfather uncle uh, it could be a mixture of these people who just looked at them and never really gave them time or energy so they always kind of like um, felt really unheard and unseen as a child as a teenager and as an adult okay this has followed them pretty much their whole life so when they started making decisions in regards to the romantic side of their life they didn't make very good decisions because they would follow a lot of what they've seen from the male side of the family okay like oh you can't be too emotional you can't share your emotions you can't do this you can't do that if you show your emotions then you're becoming really really weak and that's what i see sorry i'm a bit cold <laughs> So um, that's what they see, you know, it's that they just get really like overwhelmed and very like, no, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. And they just start to basically panic. All right. So it's unfortunate, obviously, um, but that's basically what's happening. And then they keep to themselves and they just, you know, they don't know how to handle a relationship. I feel like because they haven't seen a healthy relationship, even if their parents are together, it doesn't necessarily mean that they've always seen something healthy happen. I think that's very important for me to mention as well. Um, so, you know, they see you as this like, oh God, I, I don't want to say what I was going to say, but they see you as something so like foreign to them. Like, whoa like someone loving someone caring like how is that possible see the thing is when someone has been really heavily traumatized when they see someone that's so loving and caring it's like something so foreign that they have to like try and grasp in their head like whoa what am i seeing here whereas when um let's say for example there's someone that's like always been in very very loving relationships has always had love really good people around them and they see someone be like really emotionally disturbed someone emotionally available to them that is like a foreign concept you know like they're like whoa like how can you be so emotionally detached how can you be so emotionally unavailable like what what even is that right so when opposites kind of happen in that sense you probably look at them like what what is wrong with you and they look at you like why are you so loving right so that's kind of what's happening in this situation is that there's like literally opposites that are happening in this situation um in that sense okay so the thing here is that i feel like because you are such a loving empathic caring genuine soul you may then get really affected by their what they're doing to you emotionally do not let them affect your energy do not let them affect your heart do not let them affect what you are or are not doing you might think to yourself well i'm not going to be soft anymore i'm not going to be kind anymore i'm not going to be good to you anymore i'm not going to say anything to you anymore don't let it affect because then you start to depend on what they do and do not do emotionally and that's not healthy because then you can start to become codependent on them okay you want to make sure that you just let them deal with what they're dealing with okay and things like you know shadow work healing and things absolutely can help them so if you ever wanted to, you know, do a shadow work healing um, for them, then yes, you can do that. Um, it is a ritual, you know, that I offer to allow healing to happen for people. So if you wanted to do a shadow work healing for them um, or a codependency ritual for yourself or, you know, a self-love ritual for, for them or even for yourself, these are all, you know, healing rituals that I do offer, which can really, really help. But you also just want to make sure that you are not making everything that they do towards you your fault, right? Or everything that they're not doing towards you, your fault. You want to make sure that you are separating yourself to a degree from them where you're not making their trauma yours, right? Otherwise, you can start to become so emotionally like dependent on them, upset, sad. You, don't, you really don't want that, right? Like I don't want you to be sad based on someone else's trauma that they then project onto you because that's not 
your fault, right? So there is that. But um, like I mentioned, I have a lot of, you know, rituals on my website, especially for healing and, you know, um, for love as well. And for lots of areas of your life, if you're ever interested, it's always linked down below and on shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's also um, intention items, which have thousands of five star reviews and also personal tarot readings if you ever wanted a reading with me. So I've also gone through all of these cards as well. I've actually gone through everything in the cards. So let's just grab another one three of swords it's basically what i said what they have done onto you can literally hurt you and make you feel really really sad do not let what they are doing affect your own heart okay because then you are breaking your own heart and they have healing to do and once they heal you know they will become stronger and much much better within themselves but literally what i said is how the reading has ended whether this card came out or not you know so that's what we have here um three of swords doesn't mean that like this situation is going to come to a complete close it just means that you have to protect your own heart in this as well right because you're worrying so much about them you're wondering so much about them but you're also important too remember a relationship is not always just about the other person it's actually also about you so make sure you take care of your heart do your own personal healing. They have healing to do within themselves. Once they do their own healing, or if you choose to do, you know, some healings for them as well, they will feel better. Things will get better, but do not neglect yourself in the process. Okay. This is your reading. If this resonates with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, check out the description box below for information on personal services, personal readings, intention items. I have TikTok and Instagram as well. I post short readings on there every day. So check it out if you're interested. Um, Moonlight.guidance on Instagram, Moonlight Guidance on TikTok, and I'll see you all very soon.